In the miter saw safety video, you are going to learn how to safely use this miter saw. There are several parts of the miter saw that you guys need to know about prior to using it. This is the fence um, right here. Your wood has to be tight against this. Um, this is a sliding miter saw, so it comes all the way out like this. This is the control handle right here, which starts and stops it. This particular uh, miter saw has a light on off switch right here. It also has a series of adjustments down here that will turn the miter saw. You do that by pushing down on this button and then sliding it back and forth. It also has a piece here on the outside edge that moves uh, the machine in and out or the uh, supports in and out so you have your work surface very supported. Prior to cutting on this, you will clamp your piece of wood to the miter saw to make sure that it's um, safe for you to cut. You also have to understand that this blade takes an eighth of an inch out every single time that you cut. So you have to know what side of the line you are supposed to cut on. It is also the reason you can only lay out one uh, length of wood at a time and measure and cut is the, this cuts out an eighth of an inch. So if you lay out multiple pieces at a time and you cut them, you'll be way off in your measurements the further down that you go. So as an example, what we're going to do is we're going to make a line on here. And in order for me to understand what side of the line that I need to cut on, we will understand it like this. If I need this piece from this edge to this line, I want to cut over here. And now, if, but if I need this small piece for uh, a spacer or something of that nature, I'm gonna go ahead and cut on this line. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to cut on my first line, pretending that I need from this line to this edge for a project that I'm making. There is a clamp at the under, hanging underneath here that we are going to use to show how to clamp this down. It's going to go on the left hand side of our saw. This stays out of the way of our hands and everything else. We're going to use, <clears throat> put a little bit of pressure down, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and show where this is at. There's two ways that you can do this. The first way is to take the, <clears throat> bring the saw down, Okay, make sure it's lined up where we want it to cut by using the saw blade. The second way um, is that this has a light that creates what you call a shadow line on the piece of wood where the blade is going to cut. I don't know if it will be visible in the cameras, but you can see it right here, right along my edge line. The other miter saw that we have has a laser that puts the edge of the blade uh, where it's going to cut on the piece of wood. We can see here by the shadow line and also by the way we've moved our uh, blade back and forth that it's going to cut exactly where we want it to cut. Again, you should still be able to see your line on this piece of wood after you were done cutting. <clears throat> In order to safely use this, we're going to bring the saw all the way out. We're going to come down to where it's within a half an inch of our piece of wood. Um, we're then going to pull the trigger understanding that there could be a little bit of movement as the motor engages. Then we're gonna go all the way down until the saw bottoms out and slowly push the saw back through the wood. This is the safest way to use this saw. So it'll look something like this. Once we are through the wood, we let off of the trigger, we wait for the blade to come to a complete stop before raising up the blade. This is the safest way to be done with it. Then if we are done with this, we're gonna go ahead and unclamp our piece of wood. We will put the clamp back underneath the miter saw where it belongs, and we will clean up our mess by taking our scrap and throwing it in the bin and being done. We will also make sure that when we are done using this, we turn the light off so that it's not left on. Any questions, please review this video or ask a teacher. Um, thank you very much.